today's lesson is 12.3, surface area of pyramids and cones. Um, for the most part, we'll be dealing with regular pyramids um, where our, we don't have to worry about different slant heights. For example, this picture right here would have, you know, a slant height here would be possibly different than a slant height here would be possibly different than the slant height here, right? So it would make it a lot more complex uh, having more measurements. So most of ours will look like this. So our base is going to be a regular. So if it's four sided, we're assuming it's a square. And um, the vertex um, is directly um, height above the center, which is going to give us this kind of interesting right triangle where the, the height, half the side length, and the slant height um, are it forms the right triangle, slant height being the hypotenuse. And um, why slant height is even in the mix here is this time slant height is actually used for the surface area. Height is not. Repeating, height is not used. Slant height is used. Because if we unfolded this, it would be a base with four triangles on top of the sides. In the height of those sides, it would actually be the slant height. So again, the slant height of a regular pyramid is the height of the la lateral face of the regular period. A non-regular pyramid does not have a slant height, right? That's what I was saying over here, right? We'd have actually multiple ones. So moving on. Surface area formula is we have one base plus half the perimeter times slant height. Because um, if we have a picture like this where it's regular, um, our slant height is going to be the same across the board. So just like with the um, regular polygons, half A and S type idea, it's half perimeter slant height. L is the letter for slant height. S looks a little bit too much like a 5, so that's why we use L. Starting off here, we've got this picture where height is 15, base, um, so each side is 16. And then again, a little note here that that value here to here is half the base, right? So that would be half of 16 is 8. And then slant height. So they didn't give us the slant height, but we're going to need to do some a squared plus b squared is c squared. And we've got h is 15. This part is 8. And then what is our slant going to be in this picture right here? And so slant height L squared equals 8 squared plus 15 squared. And so we're just going to square root this right away, and we get 17. So I already had it filled in up here, but that's where the work comes from. Normally L squared equals 8 squared plus, um, sorry, 8 squared plus half base squared. So, And then reminder that surface area is base plus half perimeter times slant height. So area of the base is 16 times 16, or um, 256. And perimeter is 4 times 16, which is 64. And then plug it in. It's 256 plus half of 64 times that L of 17 gives us an answer of exactly 800 centimeters squared. Next one. Most of the time when you see a regular polygon base that is not, you know, square, <clears throat> not an easy shape, uh, it's a little bit of a, oh boy, but in this case, they gave us the value we need, right? We need the apothem and a side length, and that'll keep us from having to do, like, um, at a central angle, these inner right triangles. They also gave us a slant height right here. So we have everything we need. So starting off, right, um, base um, plus half PL, and we're going to find area of the base first, which is half ANS. Apothem is 5 root 3, sides is 10. Number of sides is looks to be a hexagon to me. I count six. So plugging that in, all right, five root three, six, ten. So half five root three times six times ten gives us 150 square root of three. And we're just going to leave it like that. We'll calculate when we're done at the end. Perimeter is, right, we've got six of them. Perimeter equals number of sides times sides. So six times ten is 60. And so then plugging it in, 150 square root of three plus half of 60 times that slant height is 14 gives us 679.807 and we round up right just showing you do three decimals rounded up to 0.81 labels feet squared next we've got one more of these um, they gave us the height they gave us the um, Instead of half side, it's a little different here. They gave us the apothem. And now these, these, the height, apothem, and slant height form the 
right triangle this time. So we've got L squared equals A squared plus H squared. L is um, right L squared equals A squared plus H squared. Plugging it in, square rooting, we get square root of 4.8 squared plus 5.5 squared gives us 7.3. And now I'm going to take the 7.3 in a second for our slant height, but we already have everything for the area of the base, right? Half A and S, A is 5.5, number of sides is 5, side length is 8. So plugging that in. Um, and I'm just going to plug that into the end formula because I don't need to find a decimal and replug it in. We can just plug that in in one calculation. Perimeter is 5 times 8, which is 40. So plugging it in, um, we've got base plus, um, which is this, half ANS. So I'm not halving the base. This is the base. Plus half perimeter 40 times slant height 7.3 to get 256 meters square. Um, it actually works out really nicely with these 40 halves give us 10, which are going to be 55. Um, 40 halves is 20, so this would be um, 110. So that ends up being a pretty nice number. 40 times this turns out to be a nice number as well, divided by 2. So um, works all, all nice and neat in the end. And next we'll move on to cones. Now cones, um, just like the other um, non-polyhedron shape, formula is a little bit easier. I mean, it's still base plus half perimeter height. Height is, um, perimeter is the um, circumference, but area of the base is pi r squared. Area of circumference, um, sorry, circumference is 2 pi r l, but when you got half, that cancels and we just get pi r squared plus pi r l, which to me sounds actually like an easier formula than the previous one. So we'll do one or two of these. So find the surface area. We've got height and we've got radius we need slant height a squared plus b squared equals c squared oh this is 15 20 25 right three times five four times five five times five it's a three four five right triangle so technically mathematically you could do it this way and get l is 25 um, but you could also notice the three four five so pi r squared plus pi r l and calculated 1884.955 rounds up to 1884.96 yards squared. Lastly, we've got a slant height problem where given that uh, the slant height is twice the radius of the cone, the surface area is 75 pi square inches, find the slant height and radius of the cone. So it gave us 75 pi so we don't have to worry about getting some weird decimal answer or rounding. And so um l equals 2r right that's the main thing i'm pulling out here this is your general formula pi r squared plus pi r l is surface area is 75 pi and then we've got um l is 2r so I just plugged it in right away and now we have pi r squared plus 2 pi r squared so one of these r squared pi two more of these r squared pi give us one two three r squared pi and so we're just going to divide by three pi um, don't let the r squared get buried in here but three pi is a number so dividing by three pi on both sides pi will cancel three quarters of 75 so we get r squared is 25 and our answer is plus or minus five well minus five doesn't work for a radius so plus five and now finding the slant height two times five is going to give us ten radius five and they both were inches that wraps up today's lesson if you have any questions please ask